in this video we are going to discuss about the differences between 8085 and 8086 microprocessor based upon these 15 characteristics the first characteristic is size the size of 8085 microprocessor is 8 bits so that means 8085 microprocessor performs operations on 8 bit data Whereas the size of 8086 microprocessor is 16 bits. So that means 8086 microprocessor performs operations on 16 bit data. Now let us see the second one address bus. The size here uh, uh, the size of the address bus is 16 bits. So that means 8085 microprocessor uses 16 bits address lines. Whereas the size of address bus in 8086 microprocessor is 20 bits. So that means 8086 microprocessor uses 20 bits address lines. And the next one is data bus. Here the size of the data bus in 8085 microprocessor is 8 bits. So 8085 microprocessor uses 8 bit data lines. Whereas here the size of the data bus is 16 bits. That means 8086 microprocessor uses 16 bits data lines, 16 bit data lines. And the next one is memory. Here the size of the main memory always depends upon the address bus. Here what is the address bus capacity? 16 bits. So the size of the main memory is 2 power 16. 2 power 16 means 64 kilobyte. So the size of the main memory in 8085 is 64 kilobyte. Whereas here the size is here the address bus capacity is 20. So 2 power 20 is nothing but 1024 kilobyte. 1024 kilobyte is nothing but 1 megabyte. So the size of the main memory in 8086 is 1 megabyte. And the next one is multiplication and division. 8085 microprocessor doesn't supports multiplication and division operations whereas 8086 microprocessor supports multiplication and division so here uh, we have multiplication instruction as well as division instruction in 8086 so with the help of those instructions it can perform those two operations very very easily next one is pipelining a085 microprocessor doesn't support pipelining whereas 8086 microprocessor supports pipelining so what is the advantage of the pipelining pipelining improves the performance of the system so in less amount of time it can execute more number of instructions 8085 doesn't support pipelining so all the instructions will be executed in sequential manner so first instruction one will be fetched and then it will be executed after that second instruction will be fetched and then executed after that third instruction will be fetched and then executed okay whereas 8086 supports pipelining in 8086 microprocessor we have two units are there bus interface unit execution unit so while execution unit is executing the first instruction bus interface unit can fetch the remaining instructions from the memory in simultaneously so while execution unit is fetching while execution unit is executing the instruction simultaneously bus interface unit can fetch remaining instructions so here simultaneously execution and fetching of the remaining instruction is uh, happening so in less amount of time 8086 microprocessor can execute more number of instructions and the next one is IO devices so how many IO devices 8085 can access we know about input output devices keyboard scanner monitor printer mouse joystick okay here uh, the number of IO devices depends upon the data bus here the data bus capacity is 8 bits so it so 8085 microprocessor can access up to 2 power 8 IO devices. So 2 power 8 is nothing but 256. So 8085 microprocessor can access maximum of 256 IO devices. 
whereas here the size of the data bus is 16 bits. So it can access up to 2 power 16 IO devices. 2 power 16 is nothing but 65,536. So 8086 microprocessor can access up to 65,536 IO devices maximum. And the next one is 80 instruction queue. 8085 in 8085 microprocessor it doesn't support any instruction queue. We don't have instruction queue in 8085 microprocessor. Whereas 8086 microprocessor supports instruction queue. So we have instruction queue in 8086. The size of the instruction queue is 6 bytes. 6 bytes. So here instruction queue can maximum store 6 bytes of instructions. So those 6 bytes may be from the same instruction or may be from a group of instructions, different instructions. And the next one is speed of the processing. So here the speed of the processing is slower. Why? Because it doesn't support pipelining. So all the instructions are executed in sequential manner. Whereas here the speed of the processing is very very faster. Why? Because it supports the pipelining. So simultaneously fetching as well as execution of the instructions will be done. So in uh, less amount of time it can execute more number of instructions. And the next one is cost. Here the cost is very very cheaper when compared with 8086 microprocessor. So because of uh, these limitations size is less, address bus is less, data bus is less, memory capacity is less, everything is less here when compared with 8086. Whereas here, uh, here the cost is somewhat costlier when compared with the 8085 microprocessor. Here, let us see the next characteristic that is size of your register. Here the size of your register is 8 bits. <coughs> the size of each register is 8 bits in 8085 microprocessor. Whereas 80, in 8086, the size of register is 16 bits. It performs operations on 16 bit data in one clock cycle. If, uh, if we want, we can perform the operations on 8 bits also. Number of flags. 8085 supports 5 flags. 5 flags. They are here we have a Jaddu flag, 0 flag, 0 flag. Next we have sign flag. Next parity flag. Uh, next carry flag. Next auxiliary carry flag. So 8085 supports 5 flags. 0 flag, sign flag, parity flag, carity, uh, parity flag, carry flag, auxiliary carry flag. Whereas 8086 supports 9 flag. In addition to those 5, it supports 4 more flags. They are overflow flag and the remaining 3 are interrupt flags. IF flag, interrupt flag, trap flag and direction flag. So we have totally 9 flags in 8086. These 5 as well as these 4, 9 flags totally. And the next one is clock speed. 8085 microprocessor frequency is... 3 megahertz, 3 megahertz, it, it works on, it operates on 3 megahertz of frequency, whereas here the frequency is 5 megahertz to 10 megahertz. Different versions are there, 8086 version is 5 megahertz, 8086-2 version is 8 megahertz, 8086-1 version is 10 megahertz. And the next one is segmentation, segmentation. In 8085, we don't have any segmentation. It doesn't support any segmentation. Segmentation means dividing the main memory into various parts. So that is not possible in 8085. Whereas 8086 supports segmentation. We can divide the main memory into various segments. We have various segments are there. Stack segment, data segment. So, so based on our requirement here, we can divide the main memory into several segments. And the next one is uh, 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 number of processors. Number of processors. 8085 supports uniprocessor system. So that means uh, we can have only one processor. Whereas 8086 supports multiprocessor system. So multiprocessor system means instead of single processor, we can have multiple processors. So that the performance will be very, very high. So these are uh, some differences between 8085 microprocessor and 8086 microprocessor. So this is about the comparison between 8085 and 
एट जीरो एट सिक्स माइक्रो प्रोसेसर